much, another take and it turned out to be like a one pound common, maybe two pound. I had an amazing session, it's been brilliant. Well, I've sorted that carp out now. Um, I'll get on and uh, continue. Recast it and it went off within like a couple of minutes. First thing this morning, I get a bite, oh, let's get it back. Can't believe it, a couple of weeks ago I beat my TV common and I beat it again. Right. Well, you join me down at Monk Lakes. I'm at the Members Lakes again. I'm just doing a quick overnighter. Um, I'm actually finally on the lake that I want to get on to. Um, it's got a lot more bigger carp in this one. The other one, which I've been fishing quite a lot. Um, I've had quite a lot of up to sort of 20 pound, but nothing really that massive. Did have one go on here where I had a 23 pounder, so there is much bigger size stamp of carp in here. There are a couple of really decent carp in here as well so you know there's always something to go for. I think this is a much better lake to fish at the moment. Um, I just want to move on and start trying to catch something really big out of here instead of keep going on the other lake and uh, just keep catching carp up to sort of 20 pound. That's really good though. Catching carp up to 20 pound is pretty good but I kind of want to try and get mid 20s maybe upper 20s. I am after a 30 pounder, um, I've been trying the last couple of years to try and get a 30 and I just haven't been able to get it. I definitely think this lake's going to give me the best chance of that. There's quite a number of 30s in here so it's always worth just sticking out on this lake and uh, trying to catch a big carp. I may not get that many bites but you know if, if I do get something it's going to be reasonably decent. There's a few smallies in here. So when I turned up people were leaving which was really good, it meant I could like look around and maybe talk to a few. Um, I managed to talk to one where he had a number of carp from the island but from his swim it's really awkward to get to it but the swim down which is the one I've picked is perfect. I've got the island just in front of me and he said he had a number of carp on that island as well. I had to rethink things because I had a little tactic of what I was going to do when I come back on here. Last time I did learn a few things. By knowing that the island has been doing really well I've decided to put two rods on the island because last time I put two rods out in the open water and it didn't do so well and I had one in the margins and I thought this time I might put two in the margins uh, but considering there was lots of carp being caught on the island I might as well go on the island with two rods establish a spot and try and get more than one bite and I put in about five or six bombs I put them about five or six foot apart the ones on the island are on a helicopter setup with a short Ronnie rig I've also gone for two different hook baits one is on an ocean fruit 12 mil yellow pop-up and the other one is on an all nut dumbbell wafter tipped off a microplastic corn. My well, look at that. <laughs> first bite, 22 pound. Pretty good for the first bite. <laughs> oh, lovely common, absolutely lovely. Caught on the ocean fruit 12 mil yellow pop-up. Yeah, can't believe it. I'm gonna get it back and uh, hopefully we'll get a few more. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Well, I've sorted that carp out now. <laughs> Um, I'll get on and uh, continue. And the other one is an all-nut dumbbell wafter, tips off a microplastic corn. And the third rod, I've decided to stick that one in the margins um, because last time I was catching in the margins, so I thought that would be probably my best chance of catching, even though the island is really good and, well, it's already produced something already. So, um, but I just thought I'd make sure I put one in the margins just in case that is the only one that goes. To the right of me, I've got a long line of trees. Then there's a, like a, a bank that goes all the way around into a little bay. Um, and it's pretty shallow up there. Only a couple of feet deep. But I know for a fact it does do bites down there. I've heard a few people saying, you know, it's pretty good when it's really warm, they get up in those shallows and they start feeding like crazy. The other thing is you can't just walk up and just lower it in. You have to cast it from your swim. It's really difficult. Most people use their bait boats or they um, use maybe a bait pole to get round. I've decided to cast. There's a row of trees that goes all the way along and right at the end when it basically stops and then it's pretty much flat ground, that is where my marker is. So I went round there and I put in um, about 
three or four scoops of bait but I sort of spread it everywhere spread it up and down all over the place I've gone about 15 feet out from the bank because I didn't want to go too close because it's really shallow in there um, I'm fishing at about two two and a half feet there's nothing to be concerned about actually because the bite that I had on the island uh, turned out to be the same depth as well <laughs> it's literally about two foot two and a half foot deep on the island and uh, they're going up there and feeding so they're, they're not really bothered the one I'm putting in the margin is on a lead clip setup with a Ronnie rig as well. It's on an all nut dumbbell wafter, tilt off a microplastic corn, exactly the same as what I'm fishing on the island. And the mix that I'm using over both of them, the one I'm spreading out in the margin and the one I'm spawning out towards the island, that is a combination of sweet corn. I've got two different types of six mil pellets. I've got all nut and I have some red lobster. On top of that, I've got some 12 mil ocean fruit bottom baits and I've got some 15 mil ocean fruit bottom baits, but what I've done with those is I've chopped them in half. So there's 15 mil in half and there's 12 mil whole. I'm also adding some red lobster glug into there. I'm just pouring a little bit in. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. I just thought it might add a bit more attraction and a bit more oil slick. So that's it. That's what I'm using and I've got one so far, so I'm gonna continue with it. I'm sure I'm gonna get one or two more, so uh, hopefully, I do, um, but it's looking promising so far. Well, a few things have happened. I had another take and it turned out to be like a one pound common, maybe two pound. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, definitely on the feed, but the little one got there first so you know nothing else I could do about that it's probably a few ones spawned on in here um, still left they did take out some but probably a few they've missed I've decided to change both the ones on the island to a 12 mil ocean fruit yellow pop-up I decided to put it on both instead of one because to be honest um, that's the only thing they're picking up at the moment so I might as well just pop on both and I might get more takes that way I put in about five spawns um, after I had that carp I put about three in and it went straight away so that's the reason I put in quite a few um, but it's been about an hour or so and nothing's happened since um, it's gone a bit quiet some massive dark clouds came over and I thought it was gonna rain so I've sort of sat in the bivvy and I don't know what I'm gonna do now really um, but I think there's nothing else I can do I think I'm happy with everything there's plenty of bait out there um, some good spots as well. The one on the margin hasn't done anything apart from me recasting it. Nothing really happened on that one. Um, but I'm going to stick at it and uh, you know, maybe that one will go in the morning or something like that. But I think I've got a couple of hours until it goes dark so it could be a chance of getting one more before then. But I think the morning's probably going to be the best bit really. I do think the morning's probably going to be the best um, bit, really. I do think in the morning I'm going to get a lot more bites, especially off that island spot. So I'm just going to wait it out and see what happens in the next couple of hours. If not, I reckon I'm going to be on it in the morning. It doesn't do that many night bites on these lakes, really. You don't really get takes at night. Um, apparently you do get the odd one on here, but on the other lake you don't get them at all. So uh, for now, um, I'm just going to sit back and see what happens. And... Um, if I don't get anything in the next couple of hours, then probably more likely to be tomorrow morning. I have to get up nice and early and get on it. Because um, as soon as I get that first bite, I've got to continue going uh, and try and make the most of it. So uh, we'll see what happens. pound pretty nice carp <laughs> I can't believe this yes pretty good session so far this one we caught in the margin on the all-nut dumbbell wafter tips off a microplastic corn yes 
Oh, I've had another one. Decent as well. <sighs> Number 20, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to get him back and uh, hopefully I'll get a few more as well. Let's hope. Oh. Well, I've got my first mirror. Yes, this one's weighed 15 pound. Um, actually, it's on the same rod that went last. Um, I put some more bait in, I recast it, and it went off within like a couple of minutes. Absolutely crazy in the moment. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get him back and uh, let's see if we get one more before it gets dark. Yeah. Well, you look at that, can't believe this. First thing this morning, I get a bite. 28 pound and a half. Yes, can't believe this. Absolutely crazy session. <laughs> oh, it's a PB common for me. Yeah, really good. Oh, caught on the ocean fruit pop up, the little 12 miller. Yes, can't believe it. <laughs> right, let's get it back. Wow, what an amazing common that is. Can't believe it. A couple of weeks ago I beat my PB common and I beat it again. It's crazy. Uh, this session has been crazy. Um, 320 so far, um, unbelievable. I've still got a good couple of hours um, to go. That one was caught on the little uh, ocean fruit 12 miller um, on the island over the baited spot, so it's pretty good that spot at the moment. Um, I've had two off that area and a micro little carp, and I've had two in the margin as well, which is really good. Um, that's two on each spot that are decent carp, so. Yeah, it's pretty good. I've got good spots. Um, does seem a little bit quiet this morning though. Um, doesn't seem as good as it was yesterday. It was a little bit warmer yesterday morning, but maybe I'll pick up as it starts to warm up. Maybe I'll get one more, but I've had an amazing session already, so it doesn't really matter too much if I do get another one or not. Um, I'm just going to keep going and uh, Given my all for the last couple of hours and uh, see what happens really. I'm hoping to get one more. If not, it doesn't matter too much, does it?
Well, managed to get one more. This one weighed 21 pound and 14 ounces. Pretty good, another 20. Yeah, had right, an amazing session. It's been brilliant. Amazing looking carp. It's been amazing. Yeah, I'm so happy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, I just came back. Ugh.